guys, welcome back to another Church of Minecraft, and it's been a few episodes already, I really gotta add more to this underwater church. But anyway, so the past few episodes have had to do with the story of this whole series with, you know, Durlon and investigating their sneaky deals or whatever, and as I've mentioned many times before, these stories are fictional, written by me, and usually I go into how they represent real things, but lately I was thinking like, why do we, as people, like stories so much in the first place? Like, and that got me thinking, we like making our own stories because according to the Bible, we're created in the image of God, and God has written the ultimate story. What, what, what story am I talking about? Well, uh, Christians, especially Reformed Christians, which, uh, which I am, believe that God, in a sense, controls everything, controls every detail of the universe, every, every event in history. So the entire history of the world is God's great story. And that means each of us play a part in that story. Proverbs 16.9 says, In their hearts humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. So what this means is we may think we have control over our lives, and to an extent we do, but ultimately God is controlling everything. God is the author of our lives because he created us, he created the whole world, he created everything, he also runs it. We are not ultimately in charge of our own lives. So all of us, like I said, play a part in the huge, enormously complex story of God's creation. And the reason we like to create our own stories is because we're creative. We like to create things because we were created in the image of the Creator. Make sense? Alright, so, what makes a really good story? People have tried to analyze different stories and what common themes they all have. There's something called the hero's journey. So in basically every major story that people like, the hero starts off in a comfortable place, in their comfort zone. Then, they venture out of their comfort zone and go to a more dark, unfamiliar, and scary place. And then that's where they encounter their biggest struggles. And their struggle, it seems that they're defeated, always. But then, they find a way to rise above that. And then, they go back to normal, but this time, the normal is even better. Think about your favorite story. Chances are it has something like that, where the hero of the story leaves their comfort zone, goes someplace unfamiliar, is almost defeated by their by the antagonist, but then they conquer that, and they go back to normal, but things are even better. So let me give you a few examples. In Star Wars, Luke Skywalker starts on his comfortable home planet, but he longs for something more. So when circumstances whisk him away, he decides he wants to become a Jedi and have a greater part in the universe. And it seems that um, he'll be defeated because Darth Vader's got a Death Star and is about to destroy him and all his friends. But Luke rises above that by using the Force to destroy the Death Star and save the day. And now things are even better than they were when the story began. Another story is Harry Potter. Harry lives uh, not a very happy, but a sta stable life with the Dursleys, and then he gets a calling to go to the Magic Hogwarts school. And over the course of many years, he has to fight Voldemort again and again, and Voldemort actually does kill Harry, but nah, I, I didn't... That, that part of the book confused me. Somehow, Harry sort of undies or whatever and wins, saves the day. Something like that. But the point is, things are much better at the end than when they started. So if you were to, like, draw a line, um, I, I, I can't really draw a line, but it's like, it starts, like, here. Like, let's say up is, like, how good things are. It starts here, then goes down, but then goes even higher. It's, it's sort of like a check mark. So, let's see. Are there... Are there any other major examples I can think of? Oh yeah, there's the Bible. The Bible tells basically the story of the whole world. So when humanity was first created, there was the Garden of Eden. 
Now, some people think it was a literal garden. Some people think it was a metaphorical garden. Some people in between. Now, I subscribe to the findings of modern science, but I still do believe that there was some kind of original garden where the original humans lived, where things were great, until humans decided to rebel against God and leave their comfort zone, and things just kept getting worse and worse. Ever since the dawn of humanity, humans have become more and more evil and have killed each other more and more. Now, the hero of the story is a human named Jesus. Jesus was the first human to resist the, the temptations of evil. The reason he was able to do this is because, in addition to being human, he was also God. So it's important to remember that the hero of the great story of time is not us. We're not the hero. We are side characters. The main character of the story of the universe is Jesus Christ. Now, just like every great hero in every great story, Jesus was defeated. He was killed. He was crucified. And his followers were crushed in spirit. They were hoping he would uh, achieve all their dreams and make, uh, make Israel great again. But he didn't do that. Instead, he died. He was killed by the Roman authorities. But, just like every story, he rose again three days later. And he promises to come back at the end of time. At the end of time, paradise will be restored. Heaven and earth will come together, and there will be a perfect universe. It'll be better than it ever was before. It'll be way better than the Garden of Eden ever was. So we are, right now, in the middle of that story. And Christians believe that, spoiler alert, God wins in the end. Only, we don't believe this is just a story. A lot of people think the Bible is just fiction. I used to think the Bible is fiction. I have many other videos explaining why I do not believe the Bible is fiction now. But I think the reason we love these kind of stories with the hero's journey is because, as one of my favorite pastors, Tim Keller, says, every story we love is really about Jesus, about a hero who leaves his comfort zone, suffers many trials, and is almost defeated. And there's always a point in the story when you think the hero is defeated. But then rises above that. Jesus, you know, Jesus used to be, like, originally, before he was born, Jesus has always existed. He was in his comfort zone. He did not have to come down to earth to be born as a human and to be with one of us. But he did, because of how much he loved us, he didn't want us to die in our sins. So... Jesus faced unimaginable pain and suffering when he died on the cross, and his disciples thought he was defeated, but he rose above that because he literally, not only did he rise from the dead, he conquered death. And one day, all of us will rise from the dead permanently as well. So that is why we love those stories so much. So the question is, what part will you play in God's story? Now, since God controls everything, all of us are in the story, that doesn't necessarily mean all of us are the good guys. Now, in every story, the good guys are the people who are on the hero's side, and the bad guys are the people who are not. Now, since Jesus is the hero of the story, are we going to be good guys in the story, or not? Now, none of us are good on our own, but if we follow Jesus, if we're one of his people, then we can still be the good guys in the story along with the hero. If we decide to live our lives opposed to Jesus, then we might not be the good guys. Now, the story always has a happy ending for the good guys, maybe not so much for the bad guys. So, I like to view my life. My life has had a lot of stories, but I like to see, instead of how the stories contribute to my life, how do the stories of my life contribute to the overall amazingly complex story of God and his creation. That is something I would like you to all think about. How does your story fit into God's ultimate story for the world?